Morning, Shane. Kia ora, morning, folks. Sorry about that. That's uh, me just not getting used to the technology here. And um, your name came up as Sheer, not Shane. And I thought that's a bit interesting. I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it's that bluff heritage of you. You know, you share it all around, all around way down on the deep south. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. So where in the world are you at the moment? Uh, I came into Auckland. Uh, Dot's uh, my wife, uh, mum. Had a, had a wee operation on her on her hand, carpal tunnel, getting it fixed up, and now we're uh, getting ready to head back to the Tai Tokido. But we've been in Auckland for a couple of days, and I went the other night with Winston to attend the um, Indian Business Community Awards, along with uh, a bunch of other political. Yeah, I saw characters. everyone and their dog was there. Mm. Yeah, Literally. it was a bit like that, mate. <laughs> The time of glad handing, I must admit, I didn't like, I, I, I would have been a useless beer on that front. I'm not really good at those social occasions and that <laughs> glad handing stuff. I struggle with it. Um, you yeah. know, a bit of a cordial roll in, in the kitchen with the girls or um, a bit of <laughs> thunder and lightning on the pie pie. But, um, yeah, social, yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's not good. But anyway, Shane, it's all about you here right now at the moment. And i um, been really interested to see you've got a little bit of cordial roll going on on Facebook uh, at the moment on some of the political issues. And you got stuck into co-governance. So what's your problem with co-governance? Look, I think that the virus of co-governance has turned into something akin to a revolution. We've got a tiny elite group, uh, predominantly uh, academics with a few other followers, who believe that the democratic franchise uh, has outlived its usefulness and what we should do is enable iwi to appoint their own people without having to go through the jungle gym of um, standing for political office. So I'm 63 and I've stood for quite a few years in different positions and it's a very personal thing, eh? And I say this to the Paitokoro iwi of whom I'm a member, no, 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 if it's good enough for me to put my hand up, and uh, bashed around and fail and then come again, then it's good enough for the rest of you. That's the first thing. And the second thing, I just don't accept that co-governance is a sustainable model to manage $20 billion of the health department's budget, and it's most certainly got nothing to do with renewing the sewage pipes, <laughs> the storm water, or indeed the drinking water. I want to come and down I'm the mic and give you a big kiss. I want to come down the mic uh, and give you a big kiss, Shane. And Dot might be a bit angry yeah. about that, but you need a you need a bloody hug for saying that. I mean, that's that's. Uh, I, I totally agree. Sorry, carry on, carry on. Well, no, the only other thing I was going to say: anyone with a smidgen of common sense knows that the infrastructure around our utilities, stormwater, uh, poo pipes, and uh, stormwater, we all know that uh, in some areas it's very degraded. It hasn't been dough put aside to cope with the depreciation. That, that, that's all, that, that's not up for debate. It's beyond cattle. It's when the Maya decided to introduce, uh, in a very furtive way, an opportunity for Tainui and Ngaitahu to become the barons of the uh, Three Waters estate. I said, no, 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 not under my watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I mean, it's difficult for me. I work for the night ho um, on a couple of projects and stuff. And, and, oh, no, I've always and, been straight up. And, and yeah. I'm great for and so a lot I. of what I knew in night who are doing mm. with developing the resources and the endowment. But once you poke your nose into the public sphere of publicly owned assets, then you run through the jungle gym like the rest of us did in order to secure public endorsement. Simple. Mm. So you'd be against the uh, Naitahu appointments on Environment Canterbury as well? Yeah, no, Winston and I would never have agreed with that. And, 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 and I've got nothing but love and affection for Reno Titikatine and the proud dynasty he comes from. But I'm um, sorry, Naitahu, that's just... I don't care if you don't agree with me. Um, I'm 63 and uh, I've got an opinion which I'm going to voice politically and I really don't care. Well, one of the issues I have around um, uh, some of the stuff in the Three Waters is the competency issue of those around the table. And this is not a reflection on, uh, on, on Māori who are going to sit at the table. It's a reflection on everyone. And um, you, you've probably watched what's happened in local government over the last few years. Um, it's fair, fair to say that there's... Uh, a lot of really good, well-meaning people who lack the skills to manage some of these things too. So 
that's where you know at the end of the day some there's there is some need for some competency around the table on these things and i don't think co-governance is going to bring the the competency now bearing in mind that when Naitahu put its two positions or two people onto Environment Canterbury, they went through a very rigorous process in terms of ensuring that the people that they did put at the table were really, really competent. And one of those is not Karako. And and yeah, so yeah. It, good old boy of St Stephen's School. Yes, yes. And so I that's the thing. If we can get around um, the co-governance and just make sure we have competent people at these tables to manage these assets because bearing in mind no matter which way the three waters goes at some stage we're going to have to grab the beast and fix the three waters and do have some sort of program and NITO, yeah. uh, 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 the National Party acknowledges that everyone does um, but my uh, my issue is is please don't put numpties at the table and um, that's what yeah, democracy does yeah. <laughs> Sadly. Yeah, yeah, but uh, uh, what, what we're going to have um, with the three waters, uh, without a doubt, is that uh, technocracy will replace democracy. <laughs> and um, for a lot of these... Come on, uh, what does utility... that mean, Shane? Are you just basically saying yeah. there's going to be a whole heap of people who know the inside and out of pipes and hydrology, but actually not much about governance? I, I dare say that'll be the case, which is uh, predominantly what's happened in Auckland when Rodney put together those CCOs. And if that's what um, comes to pass, that improve that increases the importance of good governance, hmm. because a whole bunch of engineers and accountants and uh, merchant bankers, they'll flock. Uh, hmm. They'll flock to these four new water boards like blowflies to offal. I can guarantee. Yeah, I guarantee you that. you're right there. Yep. And then uh, the, uh, those particular professions have never excelled themselves in terms of political accountability. Mm. So I'm with the Auditor-General when the Auditor-General pointed out, well, you need to boost the uh, accountabilities <laughs> because I, 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 I predict this will happen. You'll have these appointed committees, 50% mana whenua at the moment, 50% of the councils of the region. And then they will support uh, various nominees to be directors. And then those directors will sit uh, at the top of the um, institutional pyramid and then they'll start to appoint CEOs and the CEOs will appoint managers and the managers will appoint uh, middle yep. managers and then somehow they'll have to run from Auckland uh, the sewage scheme up and open only in Hokianga or words to that effect. So that only enhances the importance of not only competence but making sure that there's good accountability. There. And I also see a situation where one water board may need to draw water from a catchment. It probably won't happen in the South Island because I think that the line um, divides the Kurahopo Iwi from Ngaitahu. But anyway, mm, does, yeah. one catchment, one catchment uh, has water, another catchment needs water. And I, I think that's the future of New Zealand. Mm. Just as we've got a, a national uh, grid for moving at electricity, I'm a great supporter in creating uh, regional grids initially to move water around the whole region, irrespective of what catchment it comes from. Yep. I can guarantee you, mate, the, if you end up with these Manoa Te Wai statements <gasps> that are, are they awful and unaccountable, How did then they all get you're going to have is one hapu stopping another hapu. Well, yeah. I mean, it's all part <laughs> It's all part of an agenda to drive an outcome which is securing Māori ownership rights in water. Now, I, I don't mm. believe in that. 